I am so excited for this first podcast episode. This is something that has been on my brain for a while and finally just got the push to make it happen. I'm really excited to help nurture you guys, continue to educate you so you guys can continue to build or scale your businesses from the foundations. Focusing on those roots of your business is going to make all the difference in the world when you are looking at breaking through those income barriers. So let's talk a little bit about how I've gotten to this point. So when I first got into business, my first very successful business that I launched was in the health and fitness niche. And I will say both of my businesses have been incredibly successful. They both hit six figures within the first year. And there's a few key pieces that really contributed to making that happen. The first being, and this is going to come to you to no surprise to you, but your offers, how you set up your offers in your business is going to have such a huge impact in your ability to hit these higher income goals, creating something that has so much value in it that you can charge hundreds, if not thousands of dollars is going to catapult your ability to hit a 10K, 15K, 20K month. If you're stuck in this safety net of believing that you can only sell low ticket, of believing that low ticket is easier to sell, you are going to have an incredibly difficult time building and scaling. Both my businesses that were so successful were rooted in high ticket offers. Both of them, the main offer that I had was a high ticket coaching offer in both niches, two separate niches. Both had high ticket coaching offers that I was charging thousands of dollars for. This type of offer gave me two things when it came to growing and scaling my business. The first being the obvious. If I'm selling something for thousands of dollars instead of 10, 15, 50, even a hundred dollars, my income is going to grow incredibly fast in comparison to something low ticket. But aside from just that extra income coming in, high ticket offers give you the ability to build in more predictability, more stability into your income. As an entrepreneur, one of the scariest things that people go through is stability of income. You leave your nine to five, which most people have a very steady income coming in. You go to an entrepreneur and to being an entrepreneur and so many people worry about how am I going to know what I'm going to make next month? How am I going to know what I'm going to make in two months? How can I support a family? How can I expect to grow my life, grow my family, grow my business if I don't know what I'm going to make month to month? When you have these offers that you're charging more for, if you set it up correctly, if you focus on your foundations, if you create that stability, create that predictability, I know in my business what I'm going to make eight months from now. That is a level of stability that most entrepreneurs do not have because they are not forward thinking. They're thinking, they're stuck in thinking about the right here, right now. What am I going to make this month? But when you have that foresight, when you have that forward thinking in your business, when you're planning for the future and you build offers that are going to give you that peace of mind, that are going to give you that stability, now all of a sudden your chance of burning out in your business is significantly lower. Because even if you have a bad month, which happens as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, you're going to have bad months. But it's not a make or break it because you know you have a baseline of what your business is going to make, even if you don't make a new sale that month. So having that stability, having that predictability allowed me to take more risks in my business because I knew what was coming next month. I knew what was coming in three months. I knew that I could change things around. I could try things in my marketing. I could be experimental to try and push my business further because I had that stability and because I had that predictability in my income, which leads me to the second thing that I contribute to the level of success that I've had in both businesses. And that is taking massive action that does not make sense to other people. Before I even launched my business, I had zero clients. I invested $7,000 to learn how to build my business from the foundations up. 
that is not a decision that makes sense to a lot of people. Most people want to wait. They want to wait until they have clients coming in the door. They want to wait until they have income. But I knew if I wanted to be successful, if I was going to rise to my true potential, I needed the skills. I needed to learn from someone who had already been there. So investing that money was a no brainer. Was it scary? Absolutely. But I knew it didn't matter if it didn't make sense to anyone else. It didn't matter if it was a bad decision in other people's eyes. I knew what I needed to do. And I knew that if I was going to grow my business fast, I needed the skills. So making those intentional decisions that do not make sense to other people, is how I build my business. I continue to invest in myself, in my learning. Every single time I wanna level up my business, this is what I do. I invest in mentors, I invest in my education, I invest in live events, I invest in being in the room with people that are so far beyond where I'm at that it blows my mind. I want to normalize that level of success for me. Being able to trust myself, being able to trust that I will follow through with what I say that I'm going to do. Combined with the predictability and the stability that I have built into the foundations of my business are what allow me to make those scary moves. They're what allow me to dive in and take messy action when it doesn't make sense to other people. And this doesn't mean going about making crazy decisions not considering the future of your business. You need to be intentional, but you have to take action. Every single time that I have made that scary decision, when I have dove in head first, investing in myself, investing in my business, investing in where I want to be months from now, I have not just made that investment back, but I have multiplied it multiple times over. Success loves action and it loves fast action. When you know in your gut what you need to do for you, what you need to do for your business, and you take that immediate action and you build on that momentum, insane things have always happened. But this is why most people don't see that level of success because most people do not take that scary action. Most people will sit on that decision and talk themselves out of it instead of actually making that move. Most people will wait because they want to feel for, they want to feel like it is safe to make that decision. They want to feel like it's the right time and that time will never come. It will never feel safe to do something that is outside of your comfort zone. It will never feel safe to do something that pushes you and stretches you. But those are the moves that you need to make in order to be successful. Those are the moves that you need to make to grow your business beyond what most people can even imagine. And that's why most people will never see that level of success because they wanna be comfortable. They wanna make a decision that feels good. They wanna make a decision that feels safe instead of pushing themselves to learn, instead of pushing themselves to gain more skills that they need to reach that next level. So between both businesses, creating that foundation that is set up for a high level of success, offers that give me that predictability and that stability that allow me to make those scary moves a little less terrifying because I know what the next six, eight months bring in my business. And then utilizing that energy, utilizing that momentum to make those big choices, to make those scary decisions that the average person is not going to make. That is what has built two six figure businesses for me. If this was helpful for you guys, if you took something away from this, if you learned something, I would challenge you guys to share this to your stories on Instagram. If you do that, be sure to tag me, be sure to tag my Instagram. We are going to be doing a giveaway. At the end of every single month, we are going to choose a winner to do a free consultation call with me. So do not miss that opportunity. You can share multiple episodes. Make sure that you are sharing this. Tell people what you are learning from it tag my Instagram account. Otherwise I will not know that you reshared it and you will be entered into the drawing. Our first one will be at the end of July. So make sure you get those entries in. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Be sure to share this and let me know if you guys have any questions.